So it's finally time to attach the neck to the body of our guitar. And there are several ways and joints that you can use to do that. What I've chosen for this video is a bolt-on mortise and tenon neck to body joint. Uh, I think it's just as structurally sound as a dovetail. It's much easier to execute because you don't have the compound angles. And frankly, I don't think my ear or any other player could hear the difference between a bolt-on mortise and tenon or a dovetail. I don't think anybody's going to sit down and play your guitar and say, uh, no, this is a dovetail, or no, this is a bolt-on mortise and tenon. Nobody's going to be able to tell the difference. Now, you can do a butt joint, a dovetail, or a bolt-on mortise and tenon. Like I said, for this video, I've chosen to do a bolt-on mortise and tenon. And the way that you execute the bolt-on mortise and tenon, there are a couple of different ways. You can do it by hand. If you're just going to build one guitar, it might be quicker and easier to just go ahead and do it by hand. Lay it all out, mark it out uh, according to the specs that I'm going to give you, and cut it by hand. What I'm going to use to execute this joint is uh, a jig that one of my former students uh, uh, designed based on one of my former designs. Uh, and I like to refer to it as the super high-tech flux capacitating bolt-on mortise and tenon slash dovetail neck jig. So here's the jig. On one side, you can place the neck and place your guitar up here with this piece of angle coming out the top, and I'll show you how to use that here in a minute. You can adjust this shelf. The shelf pivots and dials in the correct neck angle you need. That's for cutting the tenon. I have a template on top there. For cutting the mortise in the guitar body, you do it on this side. Place the guitar body in there, clamp it off, come in, use this to cut the mortise. And you can adjust your your templates on top to get exactly the specs you need. If you want to make the jig, plans are available from me or directly from LMI. LMI also has a hardware kit for this jig. It includes all of the hardware that you see here as well as the templates. You can make either a mortise and tenon or a dovetail. If you want to attempt the dovetail joint because of tradition, you're certainly welcome to do that. All of the hardware and the plans are available from LMI. It also comes with a DVD that I've done, a very thorough DVD, shows you how to make it, all of the specs from the plans, shows you how to set it up, do some test pieces, and shows you how to use it. So if you're interested in that, call LMI and get the, uh, the hardware kit with the plans and DVD. Now this jig is designed to be used with a plunge router. I'm going to be using a guide bushing that is 17 30 seconds inside diameter, outside diameter is 5 8 and I'm going to be using a half inch straight cut bit inserted in my router. So I'm going to start by inserting the guide bushing and you do want to center that somewhat on the bit so I then come in and place the bit inside there I'm then going to come in and make sure that that is tightened that would ruin your whole day if that was not tightened if you tried to use it I'm then going to plunge the router just a little bit and take a look at that guide bushing and make sure that it is centered and then I'm going to tighten it up. 